While D.O. Moody ministered throughout the U.S. and overseas, a big part of his life happened on this picturesque property in Northfield, Massachusetts. Born and raised here, Moody founded the Northfield Seminary for Young Ladies and is also buried on the property. Many people come from all over the world to see D.O. Moody's grave and to pay homage to the work that God did through him um, to spread the gospel around the world. One estimate has him reaching around 100 million people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, Emmett Mitchell really began nice. this organization to carry on Moody's heritage. The mission of D.L. Moody Center is, is a simple one. We took the message of D.L. Moody and simply amplify it into this generation. It's a message of evangelism, uh, bringing people to Christ. How we do that is we, we work as a convener. Uh, this is a great location for pastors, especially in the New England area, to come and to gather. The D.O. Moody Center is comprised of 10 buildings that sit on 230 acres in western Massachusetts. The building behind me is Moody's birthplace. Center leaders say the campus is a destination of spiritual renewal. The physical property itself is a place to come without distraction. We want folks Christians, non-Christians to come here and be able to retreat in the Lord or find the Lord and to be able to um, have a fulfillment, something so special with the Holy Spirit when they are here. The mission here is bringing revival by challenging and preparing Christians to proclaim the gospel through their words and actions. In addition to offering retreats and meeting places, visitors can also enjoy a self-guided audio prayer walk. A lot of believers come and they walk the prayer walk. That prayer walk is really designed to give them a, an introduction to who D.L. Moody was and, and what these buildings and the, and the various sites, what their significance was, but it also conveys the gospel at each step. Nationally known speakers and musicians also appear at the center, which has hosted 50,000 visitors and guests over the past several years. Boston Baptist College students came here as part of their Great Lives class on D.L. Moody. It's incredible to learn about somebody like that and to get to, to hear and to read about the impact he had. But it's a completely like separate thing and so much more impactful when you get to see it. You get to see the difference he made, uh, the buildings that he built to, to preach the word and to, to give the gospel to others. College president Reverend David Melton first came here as a young student himself. I'm ecstatic to see what God is raising up here now because for the first time in my knowledge, so in a, in a generation or two, this is a place where Christians can come and rediscover so much of our roots and be able to reconnect with very mighty times of God's moving and some of the greatest voices of the Christian faith uh, in the modern era uh, have spoken in this very room where we are right now. Spencer hopes to offer a museum-like experience in the next couple of years. We're going to use the existing buildings that we have and sort of uh, have a whole campus museum and gospel experience. As, so as people walk the property, we want to make it really hard for them to ignore God. The D.L. Moody Center also sponsors an annual Go Dark, Shine Bright ministry campaign online, which involves a social media fast, prayer, and then sharing one's faith on social media. Mark Martin, CBN News, Northfield, Massachusetts.